action. All right, today we're going to talk about the cutting, the carbon arc process. It's a process which removes welds or large, large amounts of material using a very high current of electricity. Um, it's a process in which metals to be cut are melted with the heat of the carbon arc process. The molten metal is removed by a blast of air. This is the carbon arc electrode holder. This is, there's a little button here. This is your air button. The air comes out of here at anywhere from 80 to 100 PSI. Um, there are special heavy duty high current machines that have been specially designed for this process because of the high amperage that's needed in order for this process to work. Um, the air that comes out of here is anywhere from between 80 and 100 PSI. So as soon as you strike an arc, it melts the metal and the air blasts it out. Um, the molten metal can travel a very long distance, so metal deflection plates are necessary when you're doing this. Um, also need to wear hearing protection. The high noise level is associated with the high amperage and the airflow, so it's very loud, so you need to wear earplugs all the time. Um, this is a copper-coated electrode. It's made out of carbon and graphite. Um, there's two different types of electrodes. This one's copper-coated, which allows more amperage to flow. They, they make non-copper coated electrodes which are cheaper so some employers like that <coughs> the electrode goes in its holder you want this anywhere from four to six inches away you want to hold your electrode holder about 45 degrees and travel in the direction of your cutting um, this swivels all around so you can get do overhead vertical, flat, whatever you want to do with this thing. Um, one of the most important things to remember is the fact that this is always hot. So when you go to set this down on the table, if you don't take the electrode out of the holder, you're going to end up blowing a big hole through the table. So one of the major safety concerns is to take the electrode out of the holder before you set it down. So you gouge a little bit, take the electrode out of the holder, and then you can set it down.